are the latest updates from the PNA newsroom. The government has extended the deadline of the expected arrival of imported sugar in the consumer. This came after importers requested an extension due to vessel delays and lack of availability of container vents. The Sugar Regulatory Administration has amended Sugar Order No. 3, which ended on August 31. SO3 pertains to the importation of about 200,000 metric tons of sugar for industrial users. Meanwhile, the SRA has asked each importer under the Sugar Importation Policy for crop year 2022 to 2023 to commit 10% of their imported sugar allocation to the Department of Agriculture. The Department of Trade and Industry said they are studying the appeal of the local bakers for a 4 peso increase in bread prices. Philippine Baking Industry Group is seeking for an increase in the prices of their Pinoy Pandesal and Pinoy Tasty Bread due to the soaring prices of baking ingredients and supplies such as flour and sugar, as well as the rising fuel cost. DTA Under Secretary Ruth Castello said the request height will have a huge impact on the consumers. Uh, yung yung uh, 4 pesos kasi na request nila, syempre, alam naman natin ang laki ng impact nun sa buyers, sa mga consumers natin. So, but hindi pa pong pinag-aaralan ng DTI, naghingi rin po tayo ng additional information from the fill baking, yung gumagawa po nito. Uh, para mas kompleto at masigurado yung mga magiging desisyon natin dun sa request nila. Meanwhile, Castello said the DTI welcomes the call of Senator Rafi Tulfo to take a closer look at the sodium content of some products such as instant noodles and sardines. During the Senate budget hearing with the DTA, Tulfo cited Article 10 of Republic Act 7394 which states that the department can recall or seize any products that are found to be unsafe or dangerous to health. Actually, nagpapasalamat po kami kay Senator Tulfo for uh, bringing this up in the budget hearing para medyo na alerto rin po ang DTI. Immediately after the hearing po, nag-endorse na tayo sa FDA. So we have, as si Secretary Pascual po sent the letter already to uh, Deputy, uh, I mean, Director General Samuel Zacarte ng FDA. Kasama na rin po ang DOH, pati po kay OIC Yusef uh, Roset Barjere, na sinama na rin po natin dun sa communication para po um, tingnan talaga ng Department of Health at ng Food and Drug Administration yung sodium content ng mga instant noodles. Uh, dahil medyo mataas nga po, according to Senator Tulfo, na sa minimum po ng parang 1,000 grams ng Opo. sodium ang nandun sa uh, at least 1,000 grams yung nandun po sa instant noodles. Kaya kailangan pong tingnan ng FDA at ng Department of Health. The Apple Production Unit Incorporated maintains a no backlog record for deliveries of passports to the Department of Foreign Affairs. In the Laging Handa public briefing, Apple Chairperson Ricky Alagres said the state-run printing firm has delivered more than 3 million passports to the DFA. The said delivery covers months from January to September this year. Legra said a large number of passports indicates the number of Filipinos who want to travel abroad for work or vacation. Legra said that while there hasn't been a backlog in uh, passport deliveries, Apo expects a full normalization of passport deliveries by next year. Apo's contract with the DFA will run until 2025. Uh, we expect na yung full normalization ng passport deliveries by next year, okay. 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, wala tayong backlog uh, sa passport booklets deliveries as of date. Mm -hmm. At inaasahan natin na base sa utos ng ating Pangulo na pagandahin pa ang delivery at bilis ng pag-deliver ng passport sa DFL. Very good. At a public school in the Gupan City, Pangasinan, was declared as the world's best school for environmental action. The Bunuan Bakig National High School won $50,000 or over 2.9 million pesos for its efforts to restore the mangroves destroyed by Typhoon Pepeng in 2009. The school's Ilugko Aroenko Mangrove Tree Planting Project helped in the rehabilitation of Longus River and provided livelihood to residents. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources said Bunuan Bakig has planted about 50,000 mangrove trees. 
The school now plans to use the prize money to build its nursery where they can nurture mangroves and other types of fruit-bearing trees. The contest was organized by T4 Education, a digital media platform that allows educators to promote good practices. That's the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We're also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I'm Stephanie Civiliano. We tell stories that inspire change.